So black people, how many times we got to see the same thing happen before we realize it's not a theory anymore? Whenever one of us gets an award or gets presented something, someone who represents something to the culture, they have to make an example out of them. Killer Mike, for the last, I don't know, better part of a decade, has been running through different places, speaking politically on the issues that affect us directly. And so at the moment, he receives three Grammys. They don't televise it, for one. Two, he miraculously gets arrested for a third party altercation, by the way. Not him directly, someone else. You mean to tell me you think that that's a coincidence? Coincidence, really. Have you seen them do that to anyone else? At this point, if you don't believe what's going on, it's a setup. I don't care what anybody says. They have to find a way to humble us because they can't let him be talking that talk, doing all of this and get a Grammy, get a whole new view and audience to look at him. Oh, they need this as a way to discredit him and to put an asterisk by his name, just like they've done every one of our greats. Martin Luther King. They called him out for being a womanizer, for partying, things of that nature, things that would make him human, things that our politicians have been caught doing or worse. Remember, after Malcolm X died, they labeled him a crackhead and a pimp. Out of all the things he's done in the media, in the newspapers, and this is documented history, the album was fire and the most talked about moment of this whole musical journey is the fact that he got arrested on the Grammys. Keep your ears and your eyes on the swivel, man. This ain't no joke.